Hi, welcome. In this video, we'll learn uh, how to solve a cost minimization of a firm uh, whose production function is max LK. Okay, so uh, so this is a production function FLK equals max LK, and the firm wants to minimize cost of producing Y level of output. Okay, so. So this is a cost minimization problem of the firm. Minimize with respect to L and K because this is what we'll be choosing. Uh, WL plus RK where W and R are the prices of input labor and capital and they are fixed and given. Okay, so WL plus RK subject to the constraint that uh, the output is at least Y units. Okay. So max LK is greater than or equal to Y. Okay. So how do we solve this problem? Uh, well, we can uh, start by plotting the constraint. Okay. So if you plot the constraint set, you can plot the ISO quant corresponding to Y level of output. And this is how the ISO quant will look. And the constraint is that you want to produce at least Y units of output. So this is a region where you want to choose uh, from where you want to choose uh, the combination of labor and capital. Okay, so this is the constraint set. Okay, now what we can do is we can draw some ISO cost curves. Okay. So what are ISO cost curves? It's these are labor capital combinations that cost the same. Okay. So an example of an ISO cost curve is WL plus RK equals to, you know, some constant. Okay. Uh, so constant. So if you change this constant, the ISO cost curve will change and uh, the slope of the ISO cost curve will be uh, minus W by R. Okay, uh, and absolute value of the slope is W by R. Okay, so looking at this problem, what we can do is, uh, uh, you know, we can consider cases on uh, W and R. So we'll, we'll see why we did that in a moment. Okay, uh, so we can consider cases. So case one is W less than R. Okay, case two is W greater than R. And case three is W equal to R. Okay, case one W less than R. Okay, so you know, let's just pick one of the points in the constraint set and just draw an ISO cost curve through that point. Okay, uh, maybe we can we can we can start with uh, let's say this one. Uh, so if I do if I draw an ISO cost curve, I mean you, you can start with any point. By the way, you know, I mean I'm just starting with this. Just to get a sense of you know uh, in which direction I'll be minimizing the cost. Okay, so uh, so if I draw an ISO cost curve uh, because its slope is less than one in absolute terms, I'll get a line like this. Okay, okay. So if I get a line like this, I can easily see that uh, you know picking a point in this triangle will reduce my cost. You know because these points will be on a lower ISO cost curve. You know, all these points will be on a lower ISO cost curve. So if I move in this direction, okay, I'll end up, uh, you know, reducing the cost and, uh, we'll, and uh, you know, I'll end up finding points in this constraint set, which will, uh, you know, which will be uh, lower in cost, okay. So, you know, you keep doing this and you will find that the optimal choice in this case will be uh, this point, you know, where you are only employing labor, okay, and the amount of labor that you're employing is Y units. So this picture clearly tells you that the conditional labor demand in this case is, you know, just uh, Y units, okay, so it's just a single element. So I'm just going to write a singleton set. Okay, and the conditional capital demand is zero units. 
okay now let's consider the case where uh, w is greater than r now if w is greater than r you know we can again uh, draw this picture Again, I'll just shade the constraint region. So this is the region from where I'm going to pick uh, the cost minimizing choice. Okay. So again, you know, uh, you can start uh, from anywhere. Okay. Uh, maybe let me just start from here again. Uh, let's see which way I'll find uh, the cost minimizing labor capital combination. Uh, so notice that in this case w is greater than r so the slope in absolute terms is w by r which is greater than 1 so if you see the line connecting these two points have slope 1 so if i draw an iso cost curve uh, which has a slope greater than 1 uh, will look like this and notice that this is the lowest possible iso cost curve i mean you cannot go further you know if you move anywhere in this direction you will end up on a higher iso cost curve so there is no scope left uh, to reduce the cost further so this gives you uh, the solution straight away okay so what is the conditional labor demand in this case well you are choosing zero units of labor so the conditional labor demand is zero what is the conditional capital demand in this case well you are choosing uh, to employ y units of capital so conditional capital demand is y okay and uh, therefore that's the solution okay uh, to the cost minimization problem now the last case is w is equal to r okay so so w is equal to r again i'm just going to draw this picture so if i draw the constraint set to look like this Now again, uh, you know, if I start from this point, for example, and try to plot uh, the the ISO cost curve, okay. Uh, so because W is equal to R, the ISO cost curve will have a, a slope one in absolute terms. So if I draw a line of slope one, it will look like this. Uh, notice that in this case again you know there is no scope left to reduce the cost because if you uh, try and move anywhere else in the constraint set uh, you will end up getting a higher iso cost curve you know you can see that let's say for example this point is on a higher iso cost curve even this point is on a higher iso cost curve so uh, so clearly you know you want to reduce your cost not increase it right so uh, you know this is uh, the least cost uh, combination of labor capital and similarly this is also the least cost combination of labor and capital so we have actually two solutions here one is this and the other is this okay so uh, what we can do is we can just write the solution in this way l c k c w r y so I'm just writing uh, both the solutions here, okay. Uh, so is equal to, so there are two possibilities, two pairs of solutions. When LC is uh, zero, KC is Y. So one possibility is zero Y. So LC is zero, KC is Y. And the other possibility is uh, Y zero, okay. So this is how you can you can represent the solution in this way okay okay so once we have uh, done this you know uh, we can also find the cost function so recall that uh, cost function is the optimal cost of producing y units of output okay which is something that you're going to get if you're going to take w l c plus r times kc w r y okay so what is uh, this okay so basically you know because our lc and kc depends on w r y so clearly 
you know our optimal cost also depends on w r y okay so if w is less than r okay uh, the cost is w times y plus r times 0 so w times y if w is less than r okay and it is uh, 0 times uh, 0 times w plus r times y if w is greater than r okay and when w is equal to r uh, then you can put either wy or ry because it is 0 times uh, w plus y times r or you can put w times y plus 0 times r which is going to give the same thing so basically you know you can instead of writing an extra case you can just put equal to sign here and that's going to give you the cost and when w is equal to r they are both equal so uh, you know you can even ignore this okay because it's already taken care of here okay so this is a cost function and if you want to write it in a uh, more compact way you can use the min because it is min of wr so whenever w is smaller than r it is wy whenever w is greater than r it is ry so you can just write it as min w r y okay so uh, this is the cost function okay uh, or associated with this production function thank you